Second race at Happy Valley is another class four, again over the 1650 with 11 horses heading to post for the second. The field is headed by Loyal Baby, who was last on return at uh, Sha Tin this season. It gets up from the 14th to the 1650. Everlast, second up for the season as well. Manfred Mann and Jerry Chow. We've got smart folks down the field on his return as well, of a course and distance behind Red Majesty, first up this season. Son of Macfie was a course and distance winner last season. Jan Jan Rocks, another course and distance winner. All Joyful comes up in class. He actually won first up this campaign from Barrier 10. He gets Barrier 10 once more. Tabble Glory up in trip. Owner's Star has won here over the 1800 metres in the past. The blinkers going back on. Uh, Ali King Paul. On Jimmy Ting and Jack Wong up from the 14 to the 16.50 and might be our leader mark. It looks that way Andrew on a good to slow tempo ever laugh he likes to get forward in his races too and from barrier three he can get in behind you for leader will get handy enough from barrier four. Loyal Baby and Zanjan Rocks are both three wide. Travel Glory gets a spot in front of Son of McPhee we know he likes to get back with owner star and all joyful who really showed a turn of foot in class five last time on the fence at mm -hmm. the back. We'll have a look at that uh, run in a moment or so. We'll start off, though, Paul, with Son of McPhee and uh, Loyal Baby, who ultimately finishes uh, last year, Loyal Baby. But um, Son of McPhee, what of him? Yeah, I quite like this horse, Son of McPhee. He's been placed both times uh, second up in the past. He's had this run under his belt. He has uh, run well at Happy, Happy Valley before, having won, won here in the past, so he's definitely one I like. Yeah, got him in the top two as well. Just put him in for second because Alexi rode him last time. Now, I'm not sure he got the choice of rides or not, but he's gone for Travel Glory, who he also rode last time, but thought they were a clear-cut top two. Little well, Baby was quite good at the back end of last season, but um, so he's got something to turn around from a what was he, an 8.3 chance that um, day to, to run better this time round. All joyful we can have a look at, uh, Mark. This was the win first up. I found a spot for him too. I know this was down in Class 5, but gee, came very quickly from when they turned for home. There he is on the extreme outside. Two starts ago, Paul, he ran fourth behind the in-form Red Majesty, beaten two and three quarters. He wasn't that far behind Bright Kid, even super winner four starts ago. On this, haven't got him as the top two, but he did it very easily. Yeah, he did win nicely, didn't he? Uh, the query, I suppose, for me is he's got barrier number 10 now as well, so he's going to get back, and um, this is going to be a lot harder for him. All right, this is one I quite like, uh, Paul, coming up from the 12 to the 16.50. Can you uh, boost my confidence anymore? Yeah, I like him as well. I've, got, I've definitely got him in um, a travel glory. The, the distance is the key, I think, as you say. 16.50 looks ideal for him, being by Savabeel. Hit the line really strongly. And it was a really nice um, run up. Look, I've got one to beat him, but look, I wouldn't be surprised if he won. He's going nicely in barrier two with Alexia Board. He trolled up really well prior to this race, too, and the extra 450 is nothing but a plus. Yeah, and he's a half brother to Sacred Falls as well. I'm not saying that he's necessarily going to live up to his, uh, his brother's um, achievements, but still. Um, who's favourite here? All joyful, Paul? Yeah, look, I've got. Um and I haven't got him in actually all joyful. I've got, I'm going to go with Son of McPhee just with that good second up record uh, to beat Travel Glory. That's a clear Quinella for me. Five to beat eight. Uh, Zen Zen Rocks has blinkers on for the first time so I wanted to put him in there. And Superb Daddy's a really well rated horse uh, and uh, he's, he's won off a rating of 58 before. He's down a rating of 43 from Barrier 1 so I wanted to slot him in as well. Five, eight, six, nine. Swap the top two around. Went Travel Glory just with the Bedell factor going Travel Glory. Might not have got the choice of ride on Sutter McPhee, but he did ride them both last time, so that's the reason eight to beat five. The extra distance also key for travel glory. All joyful to run 30. He's had wide gates his last two, drawn out in barrier 10 again. And Everlaugh will get himself into the right spot from barrier three. This is his sort of race. He's a six-time winner from 52. He's win at Happy Valley was over the 1650, eight, five, seven and two. Again, we're all around the similar sort of numbers. Eight and five's my cue as well. I'm really quite keen on Travel Glory getting up in trip. Me Choi and Alexi Bedell in race number two.